Hello, everyone. This is Ellen Campbell coming live with from Campbell's Creation. Let me see. Can I give a little extra light on this side? <clears throat> okay. Well, I'm working on my post a little bit on my poster stamp quilt today. I feel just a little better than I have been the last few days, but I'm still going to keep pushing. And this is the strip set I got to do. Mm, I'm going to add, I have to add about six more rows, I think. And I might as well go get started. I already have my pieces cut. And I have them laying in this box beside me. I'm gonna take my time and run a few scenes to try to get this strip set done. I need I need quite a few of these. I am not using my guide feet, but I'm keeping it on the line on my machine. Hello, uh, Ashara. How you doing? I'm doing my live. I mean... Been resting a lot most of the day. Seem like it's getting better on me a little day by day. I'm running up some strip sets for my poster stamp. Um I'm feeling a bit better, Shara. I'm trying to hang in there, stay out of this bed. It's sort of like I give myself some time out of the bed. Because if I don't, I'm finger pressing these seams open. And right now I'm just rubbing them finger pressing them open because when I go back with the hard iron, they all going to go the same direction. Hmm. All right. Now it's time for some blue. I was able to cut these before I got sick because I had been working on them. And I use my die cutter. That's a very good tool to have in quilting and so on. Okay. Yes, it does. Oh, oh. Poster stamps are my favorite quilt to make 
due to the fact that that's what my mom's favorite was. And I used to help her make them. So. It brings me joy to make them. I have a notification blocking my comments. Um. It's a lot of people beyond today being busy. <laughs> it's a few might jump over. I cut my strips the width of the fabric and they are 1.5 inch strips and I found to make these strip sets it is the best way to make them instead of going one block two blocks one by one Yep, when you learn better, you do better. So I make them. Okay, that's the real. Hmm, that didn't stitch. Let me stitch this back down. Now I got it sold. Okay. Hello, um, Martha. Glad you can join me. I'm feeling a little better today. I just have these projects going that I need to try to touch on and, you know, get closer to finishing them. And I have quite a few projects. These are 1.5 inch strips. I had cut with using my AccuQuill Gold Dye System. And I sew these strip sets so I can cut and put them together to make these blocks. This the way I'm putting it back together. It don't have to be even or straight. It just make a beautiful color. And it's a patriotic color. But it's all in poster stamps. Poster stamps and a few strips. Martha says, have you ever done disappearing nine pets? Yes, I have. Oh, excuse me. Yes, I have. I think some of the first quilts I've done was the very first one I done was a disappearing nine patch. And I'm thinking this is it right here. <laughs> this green and orangey looking quilt here. This the disappearing nine patch. I've been working on it for my sister. She's 
she purchased it some years back and I had to wash it. When I washed it, I wanted to make sure I reinforced the seams because I didn't quilt it real, real tight or with a lot of stitches and stuff. Um, hello, Vivian. How you doing? So glad you could join me. I'm just working on my poster stamp quilt a little bit here. I have so many open projects. Some of them got to get, they will get finished. I just got to work on them. I want to start a new one, but I can't really start a new one until I finish some of these. I know it's going to take some time. I got to get my little strength back. Yeah. I'm just laying the seams open. Our weather here in Indiana look pretty bad and dreary. Okay. I have a wooden press, but I'm not going to worry about that too much because when I go to ironing it, if I have my seams laying the wrong way, they all going to fall the right direction. The iron going to make it fall. <laughs> I just need them to stay open long enough for me to get my strips sewed. Red, white, okay. I'm sewing right sides together. Even though they're small, tiny strips, I still take your time, put the right sides together. And watch your one fourth inch seam allowance. Then I line them. I have my walking foot on. It kind of helps. It pulls it on through the feed of the sewing machine. And this machine don't mind pulling it through. Have anyone out there ever tried making a 1.5 inch poster stamp quilt? I love to hear your thoughts. I really like to make them. When I started this one, I said, well, maybe I can make this one in about a week. Since I know how to do it and how I want to do it. Well, I didn't make it no way. Ashara says, oh, okay, she's speaking to someone. I'm glad to have everyone join me today. I'm 
Now, what in is that? Okay. Blue. Well. I was trying to see how I did them. To try to keep my blocks and squares all the same size, I want to count my rows. Um, I forgot how many I was doing. Memory is a problem for me right now. Let me go back and take one of these and just lay it out. Hmm. Let's say about 26. I'm going to have to see how many I got. Oh, if I don't quit dropping. I doubt if this or 26 rows. Well, I need to sew this back. Oh, I can count anything. My seams got to make contact, y'all. Check your seams. Open seams. Open seam will mess up my project. Okay. I have three. I have 22. So I keep moving till I get 26. One, two, red, white, and blue. All I do is uh, when I have 26, I'm going uh, to start on the next one. I spray this one down with starch real good. Starch it up real good and let it sit overnight. Once it's set overnight, I come back the next day. I can iron it and press it. Let's see. Hi, Joyce. Hello, Ellen. How are you feeling? I'm doing much a little better today. Thank you for asking. Uh, okay. Thank you, Ashara. She's speaking to everyone. <laughs> Thank you. This room here used to be the hottest room in the house. Now it's the coolest room in the house. I'm going to have to find out where. Lord, I forgot how many numbers I count. That's all right. I can count again, but I ain't got enough. I think I got three more to go. Three more sets. I 
been getting plenty of rest, y'all. Plenty of rest and drinking water and juice and taking my meds. Then when night come, I take the night mid and it's bye-bye. I'll be sleeping during the daytime, and when I show up, take that night medicine. It's over with. All right. Another red. <laughs> Make sure I get the right side. Uh, let me uh, get it lined up here. Okay. Hi, Susan. Good you can join me. I watch once in a while. It's good to see you are feeling a little better. Thank you, Susan. I'm glad you're able to stop by and say hello. I wanted to do these poster stamps. I want to be good and fast at them. You know, make them quick as I can. Because I got some colors I want to make some more with. Especially like the uh, the college colors. The uh, sorority. I just have to find the green and the pink. Green, pink, and what's the other color? Maybe a little gold. I'm not sure. I have to find the colors again. I received a package in the mail today, too. The person that sent it, I'm sure, I don't know if they want me to announce it, but I'm saying thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. I mean, it lit my eyes up. Some of those items were some things I needed. I much appreciate it. When I get better, when I get to feeling real good, I'm going to be doing some serious sewing. Some serious sewing. And you know I got to share it with you all. So I've been going live every day here. <laughs> It might be something that's kind of catchy for me. I don't know how long I'll be able to keep up with it, but yeah. I like it. I've been having thoughts just rolling through my head on things to make, things to do. I got some blue jean fabric I got saving up to make something with. And now I know just what I want to make with it. So this virus balling my brain a little bit, but it ain't. Take it all. Thank God for that. I've been feeling a little weak now, y'all. I got a little weakness spell going on, but that too will pass. And 
That too shall pass. Let me uh check my messages. Hi, Susan. I'm sorry if I miscall your name. I think I said hello. Okay, I'm all caught up. I don't want to miss skip over anyone. Everyone is so very important to me. Hmm. Now, this look a little bit off here. What's that fold? <laughs> that don't look too good. I'm going to lay this to the side. Grab me another one. Much better, much better. That's another thing. Got to pay attention to my strip sizing. And I'm leaving the edges on here. Wait a minute, let's see. That's the uh, salvage edge. Um, Joyce said, you're very important to us too, Ellen. Thank you, Joyce. Thank you. It give me a boost of energy just to talk with y'all and see y'all. It's you know, it's like it give you something to hold on to and Do me good. I appreciate each and every one of y'all. Did everyone get to see the finished block I did on yesterday? <sighs> I made these with the leftover scraps from the Eric Oda uh, Treasure Hearts creation so alone. And it turned out beautifully. It turned out with the big X in the middle. I kind of like that. That's a better view of it. Let's put it back in my pan. Tiny stuff. I'm getting a kick out of tiny stuff, y'all. I like tiny stuff. I put a little note in the, my description box on this video for anyone that have scraps or crumbs or fabric if they downsizing or something. I said, I appreciate your donation. And I gave my address so you can just send it right on over. I like Happy Meal. <laughs> then it give me something to do to keep me busy, too. So I don't have time to be worried about. Am I here alone? Who with me? You know. This keep me busy enough. Occupy my time, my mind, and when I'm not sewing, I'm watching YouTube, other creators. When I heal from this touch of spell of sickness, I'm gonna be in the house watching.
Huh? Joy said, that's really beautiful. Thank you, Joy. Oh, you was watching me tying a quilt, Susan, the other day. It reminded, reminded of my grandma's and Aunt Beth. They did that a lot. It is fun. It is fun. I love to tie a quilt. Hi, Brenda. So glad you could join me. My husband quilts. After watching you, Ellen, he decided to tie his T-shirt quilt. Wow. <laughs> That's good news. Thank you for sharing that with us, Brenda. That is good news. That is awesome. Yes, that is good news. Anybody can learn to do it. I mean, it's fun. It's something to do. Just like cross-stitching while you're sitting down, you know, drinking your juice or coffee. It's fun to do. And... With these strips, y'all know I went ahead and cut up four yards of the blue fabric, four yards of the white fabric, and four yards of the red fabric to make sure I had enough strips to make a complete quilt. And when I'm done, if I have some strips left, they probably go into something like piano keys for a border. They'll be already sewn together. I just have to trim them up, get it done. I supposed to have been put on a pain patch for my back. I forgot about that. But that's all right, too. Those things that don't kill me will only make me stronger. Oh. Brenda said, he said he likes it better than trying to cram it under his domestic senior. Oh, okay, that's good. I'm glad to hear that. That's encouraging. That's why I make my videos so somebody can learn that wants to learn. Tying them like that is the old school way. White and blue. Um, see, can I get this open out here? I'm just rubbing the seam open here. Okay. Let me count, make sure I'm not messing up. Oh, 
It's 26. I'm going to do a red because I can't have two blues on each end. Put a red on this end here. Okay, here we go. Trying to line them up. This would be something if I was chain stitching them into uh whoa 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 my thread broke um let me see can I see how to get it threaded Got them here. Can't have that excess thread. Put a little weight on it so I can try to see how to get it through the eye. This ain't been going too good for me lately. Mm. Come on. Mm. I'm probably going to have to go find that needle threader. My machine have a needle threader. It's sad and pitiful. I don't know how to use the thing. <laughs> I don't know how to use it. I tried watching the videos. I still couldn't get it. I mean, I guess I decided, I said, well, if I can't thread it using the old-fashioned method with the needle threaders that I'm used to using. Oh, I got it. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Thank you. All right, now. Oh, I got notification blocking my comments. Um, see, can I move that? Okay. Okay. Okay, I sewed this last strip on here. Make sure we on track. <clears throat> yeah, when I feel better, I want to do something all kind. I get me a bunch of poster stamp tops made. I guess I'll be content. Do me like some red and white solid and maybe some black and white and that sorority color. Then I can move on to another project. That walking foot, I run my finger up to it. I better be careful, though. <clears throat> what y'all working on today? What's on the y'all needle? I know somebody got some projects finished and done. Mm. 
Y'all got some finished projects? Or y'all about to begin one? My back stitch on that end because it's on the salvage edge. That'll be trimmed off anyway. Finger press it open. I'm still a bit kind of congested, child. Got a few more days before I be in the clear. There we go. Now this one strip set will make I think I get two blocks out of it. But yeah. I this is one I can fold and lay to the side. And I'll start on the next one. I have too many. Red. And some white. Trying to keep my right sides together. I fold them the width of the fabric and I cut it on my AccuQuilt die. System. Oh no, my thread unthreaded again. Machine come unthreaded. Mm. I'm gonna have to keep my eye on my thread. That's some good tension. See, can we do this again? Oh, brother. <laughs> it get right there at the eye. Oh, it came in. Let's see. Don't panic. Don't panic. Oh. Mm. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going through trying to get this needle thread. Like it's about to come all out. And it popped out. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um the, uh Susan says she is working on some placemats just so I don't start anything <laughs> bigger. Oh, okay. Joy said, I'm still working on Table Runner. And Vivian says, today I'm making a cozy bowl. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, wow, Vivian. I never made one myself, so I can't help you any. 
I'm sorry. Um, Brenda says, I'm tired flipping, hmm? flipping my spool upside down like Stephanie Stitches <laughs> seems to help. I wonder what the help if I flip mine upside down. It might jump off the whole machine. Um, see, can I thread this one more time? I mean, the eye in this needle is big. I just can't see it. I can't see it. It ain't here. Mm. The end of my uh, thread then widen out. When it widen out, time to trim that off. I had it one time and let it come back out. To me, it's not easy trying to thread these up without the needle threader. I mean, I'm trying my best to get it threaded, y'all. Hmm, that is not working for me. So, um, I don't know. I must have used them all in the other room. I like I'm gonna have to get me some more. My little dime needle thread. <laughs> Come on, thread for me, please. My eyes is not too good. Well, I can see I got a piece in there. Just can't seem to make it come on through. I'm not letting go. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Lord. I got it. I got it. I got it. It's a struggle for me to thread this machine. Woo. What am I going to do? Oh, I got notifications. Excuse me. Okay. Vivian's. Okay, I read that. I read that. I'm all cut up. Okay. For the next strip set, off we go. Trying to stay on my line. Boy, these 
notification popping up on my stream. Okay. Hi, Lisa Pig. So glad you could join me. I missed you when you came in. Hope everyone here is doing well. Thank you. I'm just working on a poster stamp quilt today. This is my get out the bed moment. Because if I don't, I'll be stuck in that bed all day. I want to feel better, not get worse. All right. Now, since I cut twice... Let me see my red. Pull that out and make sure I don't have to <laughs> thread it again. Okay, I'm just going to take my, matter of fact, I can take this wooden press and rub this open. I'm just sewing these strips in the strips of red, white, and blue. Red, white, and blue. Repeatedly until I get my block the size of 26 or 27 strips. The start can't be the same color as the end. All right, red, white, and blue coming up next. I have my strips already pre cut in this box next to me. And to make sure I get the right size together, I keep them folded so when they come out and unfold, I can put right sides together and keep moving. Y'all know it's kind of, it's something to keep these strips straight till you get them sewed the width of the fabric. But the way I do it is I line them up and hold them in place. Then when I stop the needle, I readjust my hand. Let's keep from getting the bows and the clips and the turns in the fabric. It takes time. Mm -hmm. It takes some time. Yeah. 
All right. It's coming along again. Mm. Mm. I have more notifications. Yeah. Mm. Okay, Lisa says, Ellen, are your strips all one and a half inch? Yes, they is. All of them, one and a half inch. I use my die cutter with the go machine to cut them. And doing it this way is way better than cutting block by block. And I'm going to try to make two blocks. Well, that one was already kind of completed. I'm going to try to do one more, and then I'm going to starch them down and iron them the next day. I soak them in starch like pretty much. Let them dry, and then come back and iron them. That way my thread won't come out, won't bag out. Everything could be set once I put that heat on it. I'm leaving Savage Edge on. They get trims off, trimmed off later. Before I know it, I keep going. I have a finished quilt top. A patriotic finished quilt top. By these being such small strips, I have to pay close attention. Try to keep them lined up. When I stop, I readjust. Trying to keep my fourth inch seam aligned. That's what's going to help everything turn out right. Ooh, I tried to catch that thread. Got both of them. Yep. <laughs> All right. I don't want to have to be trying to thread the machine over. And take the wooden press, rub it out. It just help it to, that seam to lay down until we get through sewing the set. When I spray it, spray starch it, let it dry overnight, then I come back and turn the iron on and make sure all the seams go in the same direction. 
I do them the same direction because I never get all of them pressed open. <laughs> I started off pressing a few open. All right. More notifications. Okay. Hi, Beverly. So glad you can join me. And everyone. I'm doing a little better today, Beverly. Thanks for asking. Hi, Mary Williams. Thank you. She said, glad you feel better. Thank you. I feel a, a little better today. I'm trying to sew a few of these. Um, what do you have working from? Strip sets. For my patriotic poster stamp quilt. Where's my center? Oh, okay, it's right here. I have to make sure I'm using the right side. Y'all, excuse me. Let me pause, uh, mute y'all for a minute. I need to clear my sinuses. Okay. Sorry about that. But I need to drink some water behind that. Mm. <sighs> um. Okay. Just running these strip sets, and this is the most easiest way to make a poster stamp quilt. If you was to work on one like this, you probably could finish one within a week. It's not guaranteed now. <laughs> but you get your AccuQuilt Go Cutter, cut all your strips out and be ready. Once you sit down in that seat, just let it rip. Keeping all right sides together. Getting them, uh, getting my thread in so I won't have to rethread this machine.
Have anyone online with me today ever made a poster stamp quilt? I have seen a bunch of them flow through my news feed on Facebook. Some two inch squares or two and a half inch squares one. This one here is like a one point one and a half inch. Trying to just get these seams to lay back. Oh, yeah. I like doing this. I ain't been able to sew too much since I've been sick, but before I got sick, I was sewing all day long. Beverly says, Ellen, are you working on your poster stamp? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. I'm working on the poster stamp. When I go to the four-star general, I'm doing in the sew along then. I'm going to have to put all of this away because I got quite a few blocks to catch up on on my four-star general. And I'm doing it in two different colors. I'm doing it in a patriotic color and a orange and green and brown. And y'all will see when I go to sewing on it again. Um, Beverly said, I'm doing good. Okay, she's talking to somebody else. This is fun, doing something you love to do. I've been thinking what I'm going to do. When time comes, I can't enjoy doing this anymore. And y'all know what my decision was to that. My decision was we across that bridge when we get to it. <laughs> right now is enjoyment time. I have quite a few of these strips to add to this piece. And there we go. I must have got off somewhere, guys. 
way off. <laughs> Let me go back and see, can I fix this right on up? Let's see, I wanna look at the blue. Drop the needle down. I mean, this is, it's got me going right here. Put that in my thread can. Okay. That's a nice spot. Yay. Okay. Now, where were I? Okay, let me get this pressed open here again. I sure didn't see that big old opening. I got it taken care of now. Let me check my messages. Beverly said these scripts too small for her. Okay, Janice still working on mom's potholer. That's good. I had a neighbor when I was living in Mississippi used to make potholers and hand mittens. They was beautiful too. No, not again. So I have a little section here. Oh, no, now. Oh, no. Let me see if I got some bobbin thread. Something going on here. Ooh. <laughs> I went to take my bobbin out, y'all, and my little pink nail popped off. And I'm like, what that popping off in here? My fingernail gone. Okay, I have some thread. Let's see, can I get that to come up? Uh, is um uh, okay. Oh, man. I don't know how much longer I'm going to be able to go on. 
my back trying to hurt. Not my lower back, my upper back. I just take some deep breaths to expand my lungs. Ooh, my back hurts so bad, y'all. I think I'm gonna have to probably end this in a few minutes. This all I'm doing though is working on these strip sets. Oh my. I'm not really doing much for setting and sewing these strips. I guess I don't reach my limit. <clears throat> I'm a, um let me see how many more I can do. Let me try a read. That old devil can't steal my joy. He can't have it. Ooh. I ain't got it to give to him. Mm -mm. I plead, I plead the blood. I plead, I plead the blood. The blood still works. I guess I'm gonna have to go down and grab me something to eat. Warm up some soup or something. Won't take long. Last time I was sick like this, my cat was seeing about me. My cat stayed right by my side. And that was a blessing. I think somebody just took my cat. was an older cat though friendly she didn't want to use the bathroom in the house in her little pants she wanted to go outside she have always came back but this time way different Me, oh, there's something going on with my machine, y'all. It'll stitch a while and it'll skip spots. Okay, it did this one pretty good. Then it got here. And start skipping. Skippy, skippy, skippy. 
I think I'm going to have to check it out. Yeah, I'm going to have to check it out. Well, this is probably the end of this segment here. I'm kind of having some pain. I'm hurting really bad. So I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. I thank all y'all for coming and joining me on this video. Let me see. Can I clear out these? Um, I can't see straight, y'all. Beverly says, sing, Ellen. <laughs> Thank you, Mary Williams. Yes, sing, Ellen. Uh-oh. See you all. To you. Have a good evening. Good night, everybody. Bye, everyone. Hi, Dora. I've been waiting on you to come in. I received the package today. I would want to know, did you want me to share it with everyone before I leave? Let me know. Thank you. I was needing that. Thank you. Everybody said, get some rest, Ellen. Yeah, I'm going to have to eat and take some medication first. Let me know, Dora. And i get it on the next one, I guess. Love y'all. Good night. It's okay tomorrow. Okay, thank you. Good night. Good night. Bye now.